What's up YouTube, Jeremy from Mascast here today. Today we're doing a DIY type video where I'm going to be making an ice fishing rod out of like just, I mean, they're sort of everyday things you can find around the house. I mean, assuming you have them just laying around or you can go buy them from the store. But I'm going to show you guys how to make like an ice fishing rod like that's cheaper than actually going to the store and buying one. And you guys are probably just going to want to buy one anyway, but this is going to be pretty cool. So I'll show you guys how to do this. Alright guys, this is basically the, all the things that I have. I mean, I'm probably going to have to run and get some other stuff um, later. But this is basically the stuff that I have as of right now for um, everything that you're going to need. You're going to want a cordless drill or a corded drill, whatever you guys have. Um, drill bits, a saw, oh, and like this is the most important thing, an old like line spool for fishing. Like this will be a reel, um, just a dowel or some stick or piece of wood that you have. Now this is like one of those paint blotter things. I'm going to be breaking this apart and showing you guys how to use that. A bunch of screws and whatever, that's just my GoPro that I'm going to be filming this with. But um, let's get started, guys. So the, what I'm going to do to this wooden dowel is I'm going to drill a hole through it where the, where the reel is going to go. And I'm going to drill a hole in the top of it for where the, um, for where the, the eyes are going to, yeah, the top eye is going to go and the spring lever. So I'll show you guys that. So I'm going to try to drill into this thing right in the center. So that's how far I well, yeah, that's basically what I drilled there. And I'll show you I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with that later. Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this paint blotter thing and I'm just going to pull the top of that off and um, I'm going to use the wooden piece as like a, as like a real seat. Alright guys, so here's the wooden dowel and I'm just going to pull the thing out of it and then there's the, the top of it. So now I have this piece, um, I don't know, maybe 5 inches and it already has a hole in it, so that's good for when I put the reel in there. Alright, so... I'm going to take this wooden dowel, and hopefully you guys can see this, I'm just going to saw it down, where's the, yeah, there's the saw. This is really hard to let it climb. Well, I got it finished, and there it is. So I'm just using the sand block, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna file this thing down. All right, guys. So there it is. I just um, sand it down with the sand block. Gonna drill a hole through that. All right, guys. So I managed to drill a hole through the dowel. Um, just use a small drill bit and drill the, all the way through with that one. And then I also here's just a more close-up and HD version of this. 
and there's like the the soft spot. All right guys, so I managed to find a screw that was sort of the, a good size for this, and I managed to screw that together, and that that is locked in place. I mean, sort of, I mean, it's tightly locked in place, sort of. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna try and tighten that up. But now I'm gonna attach the reel and then make a guide for the top. So, let's get to that. So guys, now I'm gonna attach the reel to the, to the actual, like, seat now that I have that done. Hold on, let me grab the screwdriver. So I'm just gonna get to the right there where it can spin. Perfectly. And also, guys, um, I'm going to try and figure out how to make a handle so I can reel it in. Um, I'll try to do that later. i you guys too. So basically, this is what it looks like um, so far. you got the, the reel seat, the rod. Now, it's going to be a little bit weird since, you know, I broke the end. Um, but basically, I'm going to I'm gonna have to hold it like this. Basically, so... I mean, it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I'm just going to catch a fish on this. That's it. All right, guys. So the next thing that I have, which I'm going to use to make the spring bobber and the, um, well, the eye for the thing, is just like a regular spring, like a two-inch spring from like a regular pen. And then the next thing I'm going to be using is a paper clip. So it's not really that hard. I'll show you on the GoPro. So I'm just going to bend, keep bending the. All right, guys, I'll come back to you when I find a good solution. All right, guys, so I just managed to um, twist a rub um, <laughs> rubber band, sorry, pencil, uh, a paper clip around it and then stick it back in there. So there's a nice guide um, for the tip. And now I'm going to try and install the spring bobber. So I'm trying to install the spring bobber. Let's see how that goes. Alright guys, so I just threaded the wire around it as much as I can and I thread it into there. And so basically it's just hanging out the edge and when a fish bites it, that um, wire will just like so, um, go down. So I think that's pretty good. So my rod is almost done. Now I just have to install a handle for the reel and then spool it up, put a jig on it, and then go fishing with it. So I just drilled a hole through it so I can put a screw through there and maybe use a screw as a reel or attach something to it. Alright guys, like I said before, oh wait one second, let me apologize for the noise in the background, that's the wash, or the dishwash, no, sorry, the dryer. So I just drilled two holes in right there so I could like adjust the reel and put like the handle there. Maybe um, so I can put that there. That will be kind of cool if to see if it works and it doesn't really affect the line. Alright guys, so I did it. I finished it. Um, so basically I started, um, you know, with some sticks and some screws and this spool and I ended up with a fishing rod that I might actually be able to use. Um, so there's the spring bobber, the guide, it's a little bit messy, I'm actually going to fix that one up maybe. Um, there's the wood dowel, the reel, I managed to wedge a screw into the, the hole and I mean there's a little bit of thing there but that really shouldn't affect it when I reel in. So there's the screw which is my handle, the reel which spins, um, yes yeah, it's really nice. I'm gonna bring a video out. Um, I'm gonna bring a video out on this, um, like ice fishing, actual ice fishing. I'm gonna catch a fish on it, and um, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, it's done and finished. Ready to go. Ready to go fishing. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, please subscribe for more awesome stuff. If you guys want to see more DIY videos, let me know below, and I might, I might leave a poll above. So, see you guys later.